the 2009 H1N1 influenza virus never went away this summer, and it's starting to cause increased disease in the fall. Um, we are seeing increases in the southeastern states in particular. Those are states that began school a bit earlier than other parts of the country, and it's not really that surprising that we are seeing this uptick in cases in several southeastern states. In particular, we have widespread um, disease in Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida among the southeastern states. Um, we're aware of 24 schools that dismiss students on Friday uh, because of influenza, and uh, more than 20, about 25,000 students that were dismissed um, because of the flu. So um, it's still around, it's causing increased disease, and it is time to pay attention. We think that the supply of antivirals in the system is adequate for antiviral use for treatment. It's very important that people know most children, adolescents, and adults with influenza-like illness do not need an antiviral medicine. It's just those people with risk conditions where the influenza illness might get worse, or people who have severe presentations like those who are hospitalized or who have signs of uh, lower respiratory infection or other severe warning signs that need antivirals. So we do think by working together with the private sector and the public sector, we can have a good supply available where you need it. And we really want the public to know that most people won't need antiviral medicines to get through the influenza this year.